All right. Um, I'm just gonna see if I can't reach it from here, I guess. Um, mm. Let's hope... Let's see if this works. I mean, last time, I don't even remember what fully happened. Sits down on the ground next to this one chain, pulling up the glove on his left hand, and... You touched the bell last time. Yeah! I... What's their name, Worm? You know as well as I do that names are not to be spoken. You know, the only reason I was able to talk to you is because I heard your name. It's all your name. I fly over and look at it. Hmm. Hey, Solomon, you know what this thing is? Uh, was this here? Yeah, it's when been there. I... Huh. Yeah, this has been here the entire time. Well, what do you think it is? I kind of just stand Prison. on it. Hmm. Solomon, I... <laughs> don't stand on it. I have to destroy it. I knock on it. <laughs> and I'm just like, mm, okay. Yeah, it's... Just a giant piece of obsidian, but I assume that it has some sort of bigger magical thing. If I I look down, if this thing falls, is it going to crush anything? There's a vase on a single table down there in the middle, as well as that globe you launched down earlier. Oh no! <laughs> Someone get, go down there and move it. I, I quickly fly down there and move it. I move Why does stuff. Solomon go downstairs? I move all the stuff away. Okay. And I'm like, okay, cool. I fly back up. Uh, let's see if this boy. Ah! Fine. Puts a hand on the chain. I'm gonna break this. Is that okay? I was talking to Solomon. Uh, yeah, probably. Cool. Puts a hand on the chain and tries to break it with magic. Hey. Dark energy starts to swirl around your hand, Denver, and link by link, the chain disintegrates. Okay. Oh, okay, minor headache again. Whew. Oh, it's still standing. Damn it. Walks over, touches this one. Chain by chain, link by link. You make your way around. God, headache. Seriously, headache. It kind of lurches to one side a little bit. Pops this, and then it just swings up almost entirely against this one wall over here. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> I I take note of where uh, of where Ted's going, and I'm like, oh no, and I move. <laughs> touch, and then touch. as you touch the last chain, just the the other ones like break free from it, and this thing falls to the bottom floor, crushing the table in the center with a loud. Foom. Oh, I wanted that table. Oh, wow. Sorry, I asked if I could. Ow. It's all oh. right. It was inset into the ground. Oh. I'll fix it. I have mending. Oh. It's fine. Oh, okay. God. Anyone else got a massive headache from that? No. Just me? Just you. <sighs> Why does that always give me such a headache? Ugh. Hey, Worm, what does he have to do now? I have to touch it. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. How far down is this drop? Kuvera, are you big enough to climb us all down? I take I take my uh, puppet and I'm like I don't know what you guys are worried about and I jump off with my falcon. <laughs> we oh can't fly. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> well, <sighs> is it, isn't Can there uh, isn't there a part of the building that's still massively unexplored? Unexplored. Kuvara gets large, tries to pick you up. Uh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Not again! And oh, it leaves hey, down buddy. and picks up Joel, and the crystal, and Frank, and wait. Hazel just jumps on. Hey, Kuvera, what are you doing, buddy? Picks up the pale rose as well. And it, it, it gives you kind of a cocky, like, sideways glance. <laughs> you understand every word I'm saying. And then it jumps into the pit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> uh, wild ride as you on the back of the rage beast as you fall back down to the first room. Um... Solomon's already down there, and this thing has essentially crushed everything in its path. He's very carefully set the vase and the globe to the side, however, as to not damage the goods. <laughs> Blends into the floor rather nicely, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah, it's almost like the same texture. It really does. Yeah. Lops off Kuvera. <laughs> I walk over here, and I'm like, hey, this rug, I love this rug. It's under the big obsidian thing. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'll fix that. I'll fix all this. Don't worry, I'll fix it in a second. Uh, Kuvara, set everyone down first, just in case. 
He sets the rose on the floor. Hazel floats off. Sets the crystal over here. He's still holding Joel in his one hand. Set Joel down. Looks at Joel. <laughs> Don't throw me. Put him down. Let, let, let me try. Let me try. Oh boy. No. Kuvera <laughs> likes Joel. Oh. He doesn't put you down. <laughs> oh my god. Kuvera, do I have to do the thing? Ah, oh, you're adorable. Doggy likes Oops. to hold the dead. I don't. Let him have fun. Well, I need Joel. Okay, if you're going to hold Joel, at least hold him to where he can watch me. All right. <laughs> All right, so Joel. Dog noises. Joel. Be I'm ready. Here. Be ready just in case uh, you get a bad feeling. Mm. Okay. I'm clear. Okay, he looks at the hand and holds up the mark. Towards himself for a minute. Okay, the, here, here you go, I guess. Puts his hand on it. Okay, Joel, for the first time, you see the hand of Tedrir. You see the dark energy. You see what's been coursing oh my through him. God, he's got gang affiliation. I was gonna say something else, but that's hilarious. <laughs> um, <laughs> hey. No, you, you get angry. For some reason. You get. Really angry. Kind of want to summon Philly and just rip his arm off. <laughs> uh, let's not. <laughs> okay, Joel, you're able to snap to it and you're fine. You shake away the anger of his tender and puts his hand up against the stone. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, Joel, anything bad, do it. Well, not anything bad. If anything particularly. Horribly, horribly wrong, Goza. Yeah, that's kind of my whole thing. The chains start popping. Corruption spreads across the obsidian shard. For a moment, and but a moment, Tenrir, you are face to face with a large being. A being of blue and pink swirling energy. Thousands of horrid, wretched, twisted faces in eternal screams swimming around each other in a big ball of a being. <laughs> and then a signal flare, a beacon, something erupts from out the center of this. And the entire obsidian mass is destroyed. Nice. <laughs> That was weird. Tenrir, if you look down at your hand now, the shadow has creeped up all the way to the forearm. Okay, this is weird. Ah. Yeah, I think you're going to need a bigger glove. Tenrir, are you okay? Uh, everything hurts. I, uh, he throws up on the ground. Oh, <laughs> she just steps oh. back. Human things. Is that, is that what happened? Ugh. I hope it wasn't the mammoth meat which is that. <sighs> okay, Joel, I don't, I, uh, I don't like what I saw. Why oh, was that? <sighs> that gave me a bad feeling. <sighs> what the? What's up with my arm? I. Huh. The whole thing's covered in in dark black shadowy corruption. It's the gang, Green Gang. <laughs> I don't know what that is. No one knows what anything Joel says is. He slowly reaches out to try to touch it and then kind of pulls away. It's like, no, this is... Mm, this mm. This is this is work for a doctor. This is beyond a doctor. Worm, what's going on with my arm? You're increasing your power. Don't you feel it? I feel... wrong. It should not feel wrong. Any wrongness is a supposition of your own mind. Yeah, we did what you asked for. More still remain. But, as I said earlier, I think it's time we worked together. Hmm. Mm hmm. Let's free the prisoner from the shackles that chain him. Kind of like shakes his head and. 
When you are ready, return to the gate, and I promise my best soldiers will personally assist you in saving Abraxas. Yeah. Yeah. And you notice for hey, once. Use his name. I was about to Abraxas. say the worm says a name. Tenru is visibly shaking. A look of fear and a little bit of tears running down his face. I uh, I kind of go over and I gently wipe one of the tears and I'm like human things, and then I, I pat and then I pat him on the shoulder. Like yeah, they're gross. Did I do the right thing. Frank comes in. We're not worried about that. We're just gonna get you out of this. And he puts an yeah. arm around you and just tries to support you. Kovara, do you think you can drop me so I can go support your master? I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> He looks at you and like pulls you in closer. It gives you a big, like sloppy tongue kiss. That was not what I was asking for. I'm gonna walk over here. I assume there's no fire for me. Yeah, no, not at all. In fact, the fire and, seems uh, to have gone out. I'm gonna peek out the door. <laughs> you see a long, uh, windy bridge, human of huh. chains, waving back and forth in the wind. Is there anything out there? Uh, no. Not at all. Interesting. I closed the door. I've never seen the outside of this place, so. Well, uh, yeah. until now. Uh, Joel, did you feel anything from all of that, by the way? I mean, yeah. What? I felt angry, and I don't know why. Oh, God, you are him. You're who? Who is he? Sullivan fixes the table and looks up. The Black Magus. That's absurd. I go over here and I put I put Sullivan. the face back on the table. What? It's not absurd. All right. Well, speak your case. Haven't you guys heard the stories of the Black Magus? Yeah, I'm the one who read it in the storybook. Yeah. The, the guy he piloted his castle with a crystal in it, and it could disappear and reappear. I see where you're coming from. He's also the one who made all the gates. I have to go open a gate to get a praxis. Am I doing the right thing? I'm essentially letting them in. All of them. I want to help uh, make relations better with them and everything, but am I doing the right thing? I mean, if it's not hurting anybody. That's the thing. I've hurt you guys a lot doing this. Frank holds back words, thinking of the time you literally blasted him point blank with a fire spell. <laughs> <laughs> and shoved him in the, <laughs> through a mirror into a pit. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, Tendrir, maybe you should try not intentionally harming people first, and then we'll move on to the more philosophical stuff. Yeah, I'm still sorry about that. Yeah, that's okay. I mean, overall, Ted, we're even more of a help than a hindrance to us. I think that's about to change. Mm. Nonsense. I don't know if we should go back to the gumption first, or if we should go to the gate. Probably to the gumption, recuperate. We're already here, we could just do it. And... Take a long rest. Mm. Maybe take a day off trying to convince Kuvera to drop me. <laughs> Kuvera, down. <laughs> Kuvera loves Joel. He does not let Joel go. Kuvera, I know Pris is telling me how to try to assert dominance and all that stuff. But seriously, I don't like making you poof and then reappear. He slowly sets Joel down onto the floor. <laughs> I I walk over and pet uh, and pet his giant arm. Good doggy. Good dog, Kuvera. Uh, okay. So we figured stuff out. Let's go back to the gumption, bring this crystal back. And if we need to leave, we can. Yeah, at least the portals will be open again, so Seldra can yeah. come back. See, here's the thing. Um, Yeah, uh, we can't go find her because we don't know where she went and uh, she didn't sure. tell us. Well, that probably would have been a good thing to maybe ask. But she seemed like she was in a hurry. Uh, Joel... You you remember back you, you gave you gave uh Seldra uh 
what you would know as a pager a long time ago. You could probably zone in on its Wi-Fi signal to find her location. <laughs> That's not how that works! Well, soldiers never run to help me with the computer. <laughs> a what? Uh, our, our computer. It's like a calculator, but big. What's a calculator? It's a calculator. Jinx. Oh my god. Dude, you, you went- Frank comes over- You literally went to a school where we used them. Don't you remember? Square devices, rather large, clunky as heck. I have an excuse. Oh. They spit out a piece of paper with numbers on them. Yep. Texas Industries. Pride of Texas. You used one of the old ones? What? You said paper came out of yours? Yeah, they were the- Did you- Did you get it I even- up the glue. He looks around. That was the most high-tech one they had. I moved the globe over. Maybe Active mine was out of paper. And then I moved the vase back. Hmm. Then it can... I didn't really get mine from the school. The rebel came from the walls, right? Where did Abraxas get that calculator? Wait, wait, wait. I, I, I have a question about the calculator. What, 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 was, what, was, the, what was the model of calculator? I... I don't know. Hang on, let's see if it's still was in my it, chest. Was it a TR? Do you? Sets it down and looks <laughs> in his chest to see if he still has it. Uh, yeah, no, don't have that one. Yeah, it, it's mm. like, are you thinking of stealing the calculator? No, whenever I didn't go to school with you guys, Praxis was teaching me things. And he had me use a weird machine that looked like a calculator. I wasn't sure where the hell he got it. You flash back to Seldra's uh, syllabus. All students should have their own self-calculation devices. I'm just humming. Humming while I'm repairing the walls. Solomon walks around just <sighs> cleaning up all the rubble, making the place look Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I fucking love it. Oh, so this is where all the gold went. Oh yeah, we found gold in there. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if you guys can take it. I'm not sure if I could... Mm. Do I own this place now? I'm pretty sure I own this place now, but does the tower think I own it? I go over, take a single piece of gold, and then I walk through. <sighs> I own this place. This is my place. Wait, actually, I need to test it. Um, Frank, can you help? What do you need help with? Frank time. Uh, go into that room, take a piece of gold, and then try and walk out. Aye, aye, Captain. He walks away, grabs some gold, comes over. All right. He walks out the building. Mm. Anything I'm supposed to look for? Mm, try walking out that door, too. Just to be sure. Okay. Jeez, sure. oh, I forgot how cold it was, he says as he steps out. Mm. Eh, nothing's happening, bud. Yeah, you can come back in. I'm gonna try something! Goes and, like, grabs five pieces of gold. Only holds one piece of gold in his hand. Solomon, may I have this one piece of gold? Uh, yeah, you can have that one. Anything? Huh. I stole five. I don't know why it didn't activate. Drat. Hmm. Well, do I know if that, was, if that was activated when old Solomon was here? No, you've never been to the bottom floor. That's mm. fair. Mm. <laughs> I'm like, I, I've only been to that room. Well, I'll just put it... I'll put it in the chest for now. It seems like the the, 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 the the blocking spell was shut off, actually, when he defeated the Guardian. Um, okay. Can I turn it back on? <laughs> You'd have to put another Guardian in place. Will the Guardian be under my control? <laughs> Probably not. Yeah, I'll, uh... I'll just settle for having the thing for now. I'm going to go back into the gold room, and I'm going to say, Okay, so, I sit down, and I put the gold that I currently have there. Uh, this is my new gold storage area. Uh, you don't want to bring it with? Uh, you know... I mean, I, I mean, assuming that this is going to be like the uh, the other tower, that portal should be should open up a place where we could just go back and forth. Yeah, but I don't think we should trust that no one will come in here and not steal it. Guys. This portal. Guys. Yeah. Guys. What? What? I'll set up the round table later. Okay. Why are we whispering? I don't know. I'm just. I'm just trying to get you guys to go because some other people are still hurting. I jump off and I'm like, oh yeah, 
shoot, you guys feel pain, right? Yeah, um, that's a thing. That's the, that's a thing. Forget. I think he forgets. <laughs> I think he honestly forgets. <laughs> I say, okay, guys, let's go. I don't know if I'm going to be able to hide this arm thing from Wimbledon. Oh, God, Wizard's going to be pissed. I, uh... Oh, God, Wizard's going to be okay. pissed. Okay, I go over to this, uh... Doesn't I go Wizard this. already know about it? Yeah, he only know that I've released one outsider. I go over to the... I go over to this curtain and I uh, I rip off part of it. I go over to ten uh, ten rear and um I wrap it around uh, I wrap it around his arm. I'll make you a lo- uh, a super long glove, but for now, just say that your arm hurts. Practice is go like my arm hurts. But it Do just it. feels wrong. Do it. To lie. My arm feels wrong. Oh, your arm feels wrong. Say like ten rear, you're no good at this. I'm decent at deception, but right now, I'm kind of... Feel like you should tell the truth? Yes. Alright. Okay, we can tell the wizard. I just feel like, oh god, everything's gonna go hell. Come here, god dang, front door, let's go. He can carry us all. You're going out the front door. It's a rickety-ass bridge leading out over a giant chasm. Uh... So this was the outside. Why? Why? I don't even <laughs> know if this will be able to handle all our weight. Kuvera takes a very the back door careful step forward Kuvera, across the chain. Wait a second. Turns around and looks back at you. Sure. Want to go across this? Do I ever recall Solomon, uh, old Solomon using the front door? <laughs> uh, I didn't know. You could never see it. <laughs> That's fair. I guess slowly but surely, or do you think you need to shrink and shrink? Do we have to go this way? It's quicker, sort of. What about the. Oh, right. We. Oh, freaking Saldra. Also, Solomon, the portal is kind of busted. That's fair. We do need to take the crystal back. Um, Man, I'm, I'm, I'm actually kind of glad I don't have legs. I just wanted, like, yeah, uh, it's hmm. it's it probably wouldn't be safe for me to fly over, would it? Oh, <laughs> uh, it's breezy, but not that bad. You can probably manage. All right, cool. I uh, just kind of fly over. Who can you get to the other side easily? It's safely dragging the rose, but yeah, it can make it. Okay. Yeah, I grab on the tennis ninja too. Okay, so I'll go next. Uh, is there railing on this? Not really, no. Uh, There's chains. Yeah. Are the chains high enough to where someone could grab onto them for support? Almost. Oh. <laughs> like, Let me guess, they're high enough for a dwarf. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Frank. Hey, Frank. Why don't you, you say we forget about this and go use the back? Uh, I don't really like heights, so I'm kind of with you. You want to do that? Frank, Frank and Joel go to the back. Yeah, yeah, Tenry's having a real hard time. Yeah, I still think think that he's just afraid of snakes. Yeah. Uh, Work on it later. This is evil. This is evil. What do you do on about? Nothing. Snakes. Okay. What about snakes? They're perfectly fine. They can be adorable. I think he's in denial. In denial about what? Tenry, we'll we'll talk about your snake problem later, okay? Don't have a fear of snakes, though. I don't have a fear of snakes. Why do you guys think I have a fear of snakes? Because you drew a snake and said it was scary. Because it was the freaking evil snake thing. You know, that's true. Hey, Solomon, what are you doing? Walking. You do realize slowly puts Pale Rose on top of Kuvera and grabs on. Oh, yeah. Doggy! Doggo. Where are the others at? They should have been over by now. Mm, I think hmm. they went to the other entrance. Frank doesn't like heights very much. Yeah, I don't blame him. They're fucking horrible. <laughs> You're afraid of heights and snakes? I'm not afraid of snakes, but I am very bad with heights. Doggy runs That's back. That's true. Well, I, I, I point down there. What's down that way? I don't know. We'll figure it out later. <laughs>